Toen ik elke dag als ik nou uit ga naar een comedie, dan uh, vraag ik voor die mensen om alle vullers weg te rijden. Zoals uh, meubels en enige oude kleren, en zo stukken nog goed, wasmachine, frietse stoven. Dan vraag ik alle wat hij Sometimes uh, krijg ik niks zoekje. Dan ga ik zo naar niks huis toe. Maar dat eet ik kost voor mijn peren. Uh, laat alle nou kan iets voor die aand. When we first started out, there was a real dire need. I mean, the horses you saw on the roads were extremely thin, extremely overloaded, because they now, they started a new industry, so they collect scrap metal. And it was very easy to overload the horses. And there was a very real um, welfare issue. And in those days, when we first started, about 80% of the horses looked very skinny. They were abused and they were overloaded. Whereas nowadays, we've actually reversed that statistic. So about 80% of the horses now look really well. They're well taken care of. Whereas about 20%, we still see abuse problems and we still see overloading problems. So prior to the um, animal bylaw uh, coming into being, our situation with cart horses on the street was unregulated. Also in terms of the environmental health aspects of the cart horses, uh, where they were kept, there was some regulation, but very weak. Um, and the introduction of the animal bylaw created a whole range of regulation on the road and off the road. Um, and and uh, in terms of the welfare of the horses, that I think is, uh, is in everybody's interest and that means that thereafter there's a much more regulated environment. And if you speak to, I mean, the, the, the best subject matter expert on this topic, the Cart Horse Protection Association themselves, they will tell you that the, the welfare of the horses has increased dramatically since then, and the number of incidents has decreased uh, dramatically. My job is to inspect those horses and the carts so they can be roadworthy for the public road. All carts that are on the public road is like normally as a vehicle. So I need to check the wheels, the axle of the cart, and all these things attached to the cart. The number plate will be on the cart. That is a big concern where we are. Um, that normally identify the horse in the cart and also the guys with this E53, all those things, is if it's not attached to the cart or on the guy, those is offences to the city bylaws. Well, 
Well, it's just that old-fashioned thing, isn't it? And it's lovely to see horses in your streets. I enjoy it. I mean, they're just beautiful, and his two horses are very, very well kept. One love. One love. One love.